Have a look at this. We've got a giraffe sort of ankle deep, which is to you and I knee deep in the, in the Mara River at the moment. We don't know if he's going to cross. I've never seen this behavior before. This is the first time I've seen it. It's the first time I've even seen a picture of a giraffe in this much water. Usually you just see them drinking. They must cross the river. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it before, but then we've only been in Kenya and I've only been around these types of rivers in a very short time. Let's see what's going on. They don't look scared of going into the water whatsoever. I mean, they don't look like they're tentatively sort of testing the depth. They don't look if they're too worried about any rocks. It's a difficult thing, you know, to try and judge what's going to go on here. What are they going to do? I mean, if a giraffe falls and gets swept away by the current, how easy is it to keep their head up above the water? Will they be able to do it? Will they be able to find their footing? If they do, is the bank going to be climbable for them because they have such a high It's a difficult thing, you know, to try and judge what's going to go on here. What are they going to do? I mean, if a giraffe falls and gets swept away by the current, how easy is it to keep their head up above the water? Will they be able to do it? Will they be able to find their footing? If they do, is the bank going to be climbable for them because they have such a high... ...climb very well. They've got to make sure that they are heading towards these crossing points and that's exactly what they've done and can you believe it against all odds they've made it four young male giraffe that is amazing Arthur, you wanted to know if animals pee in the river when they cross i certainly would be peeing myself if i was crossing this river yes they do um there's a lot of fear crossing these these rivers a lot of anxiety you see it in the in the ears back uh, you know, they, they just get attention about them and I would imagine that that would result in a loosening of the bowels and the bladder. Um, the lead giraffe, the one now that's on the left hand side, he had a, a bit of a moment just as he got to the deeper side where his bowels loosened a little bit and that was for me what was giving the indication that uh, he was a bit anxious. But look at that, first Mara River crossing of the Maasai giraffe that I've ever seen in my life and we got it on camera for you and shared it with you. Done, I managed to cross. That is incredible. Thousands of animals die in this river. Alimai, you just asked me, uh, do crocodiles, I think, Lou, if you wouldn't mind just repeating that? Oh, hippos. Do hippos interact with giraffe? Um, Alimai, yes, I would imagine insofar as hippos uh, interact with any other animal that comes down to the water's edge to drink. Um, are they friends with one another? You know, do they know each other uh, on site? I doubt it. Giraffe are highly sort of nomadic. You'll see giraffe for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, and then they'll completely, there's the giraffe that was calling, causing all the trouble. That's the one on the far right hand side on the bank that was causing all these other giraffe to, to want to cross. That is amazing. Now look at them now it's also dangerous here on these rocks if one of these giraffe misstep and fall they run the risk of cracking their head open on these rocks of course the rocks are where the trees are the trees are what they've come for the, the leaves growing on the trees actually are what they come for but what is amazing is the fact that these giraffe are far more agile than what you'd ever give them credit for i mean it's, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's, it's quite fascinating. Have a look at their hooves and the way that they place their feet on these rocks. You can see that it just, it's like walking with giant sticks on the end of your legs. Very unstable, have to be very sure of what they do. Let's go back and go and see what the sort of interaction is between these giraffe and the other males, since now we've got one giraffe, the one that crossed, now striding off into the distance, he's decided, I called you on your dare, I made it across, and I'm going to carry on with my day. Isn't that just incredible? That is properly, properly amazing. I'm really glad that we got to share that with all of you. Um, I didn't know what was going to happen, to be honest. It looks like they wanted to cross. There's another giraffe on the other side. 
They had all the sort of body language of saying, I want to cross, I need to cross. They ventured tentatively into the water and then basically crossed. Really amazing. They ventured tentatively into the water and then basically crossed. Really amazing. Absolutely incredible. All right. From, uh, from this amazing crossing, we're going to be sending you all the way back down to Juma and that sort of rainy, cloudy day over there to Hosanna, that leopard cub. <laughs>